Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is merge two sorted linked lists. So in the question we will be given two sorted linked list so if you see this is the first sorted linked list it's sorted in ascending order and the second linked list this is which is also uh, uh, sorted in ascending order so uh, in the function we will be given a uh, head one which will be the head of this first linked list and head two which will be uh, the head of the second linked list so uh, both linked list head will be given and we need to so uh, we need to merge these two linked list merging these two linked list means that we need to make a final linked list which is also sorted so if you merge these linked list means uh, if we make a final linked list of these two linked list which is also sorted so it would be something like this 2 3 5 6 8 9 and 12 so see this linked list will be the output and we need to return the head of this linked list this head right this head so uh, this is uh, this we need to do basically and also we should not use any extra space uh, right so we should avoid that now let's see how we can approach this now if you see right uh, we need to have one head because head of this final link list we need to know right we need to return that so there should be one variable which will uh, uh, store this head let's say it is final head variable so final head variable will uh, contain the address of the first node of the final link list which is 2 here right so this variable will store this 2 now we need to the second thing is we need to add these next nodes right like this right so after 2 we need to add to its next 3 next of 3 should be 5 so this way we need to add in sorted order right in ascending order so this should be this is pretty much what we need to do so uh, for doing this one thing which is clear is that we need to have a final head variable let's name it as fh because, uh, which will store the final head of the final link right also we need to have a tail vari tail variable let's name it as final tail why tail variable you will get to understand now let's see how we will uh, iterate through this uh, these link list uh, why we are using this why we are maintaining this tail variable you will get to understand right so we have head one which is pointing to this two head two which is pointing to head of the second link list which is three so what we will do is we, we have this final head variable which is initially null let's take it as null we have final tail let us take this also also as null so if you have watched the video of merge two sorted arrays then you must have got what we are doing but if you don't know you if you want to uh, watch that you can watch that video first uh, the link will be in the description so uh, what we are going to do is we will be traversing like, like we will be comparing h1 value with h2 value whatever value is at h1 which is 2 here and value at h2 which is 3 now 2 is less than 3 means h1 value is less than h2 value so because we are we need to merge in sorted ascending order right sorted order so 2 will come first so in our final link list i am writing here final link list this is our final link list so in that two will be in the starting now if you see when we got when we got two right our final head value was null final tail value was null means when both of these values are null means that this two this two is our first node in the link list in the sorted in the final link list right this two is the first node why first node because both these values are null so what we'll do is since both are both of these are null right we will fi final head will be two and final tail will be two so both these variables final head will be pointing here and final tail will be pointing here as of now 
because only we have two in our this linked list. Now what we'll do is since we have taken two, so we'll move head one ahead. Head one will move to head one's next, which is five. Now again, what we'll do is the same thing. We will compare five h one value with h two value, which is three. Now see, h two value is smaller, right? So this three, where we will add it now. Now you will understand the use of final tail. We cannot change this final head, right? Final head will contain two only. Why two? Because this we will be returning, because this is our head of the final linked list. But now this three value we need to add it somewhere, right? So as to make the whole linked list. So we will be adding this three in final tail because this final tail variable is 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 pointing every time to the last node in our final linked list. Whatever our final linked list is, right? This F T will point to the end node, so that the new node, new node, whatever comes, we can add it to its next. So this three will be added. It will be added to F T next. F T next. So here F T is to two's next. We will add three. And don't forget to don't forget to update your final tail now. So your final tail is now three. So this will be three. All right. And now, since you have taken this three, so we will move H two ahead. Like this. So I hope you understood what we are doing. Why we have taken this final tail? Because we need to add it, add the new nodes to the linked list, right? To final linked list. So we need to have a final tail. Because we cannot change this final head. It will be two only, which we will return at the end. Right. Now let's traverse again. So. Uh, Head one value is five now. Head two value is six. Now five is less than six, so five will be added. This five will be added to final tail uh, ft next. Ft is next, so five will be added here, and this will be updated to five now. And since five we have taken, so h one will go ahead. So you are seeing we are making a final linked list. Our final linked list is being created, right? Now again, head one value is eight, head two value is six. Now head two value is smaller. Six will be added. Ft is next here, but now Ft will update to six because this is now Ft will be pointing here, right? Then what we'll do is we will, uh, since h two value was smaller, we will shift h two here. Okay, so now let's again iterate. Now h1 value is eight, h2 value is nine. Eight is less than nine. Eight will be added here. Ft will be update. Ft will update to eight because eight is the end of the final linked list now. And uh, uh, now we will also update h1. H1 will go ahead here. So you are seeing we are making this list in sorted order. Now, what we'll do is, uh, h1 value is 12, h2 value is 9, h2 is value is less, 9 is less, so 9 will be added to ft next. Here, ft will be updated now. It will become 9. All right, and we will move h2. So h2 becomes, h2 comes here. H2 becomes null. Right. So then, now what we will do is, since one h2 be, h2 has become null now, so then we will stop the loop. And after that, what we will check, uh, what see, we have one node remaining in a, a, this first linked list, right, which is 12. So we will check if head two is if head one is not null, head one is not null, right? It's 12. So we will add it to ft is next. So 12 will be added at the end. In case if it would have been that h h1 became becomes null but h2 is not null, then we will add h2 at the end. So you see, this is a final linked list which is made, and our this head value is stored here. So we can simply just return it, return f h which is final head. So this is the way which we we are merging two linked lists. It's very simple. Let's discuss uh, what we did. 
we have uh, maintained two variables final head initialized to null final tail initialized to null right then we are traversing the both the linked list and if f if f h is equal to null and f t is also null means both are null then it means that the node if h1 is value is less than h2 right if h1 value is h less than h2 means this h1 is the first node in the linked list because both these values are null in each, null right now so fh will be equal to h1 and ft will be equal to h1 but if h2 is less then fh will be equal to h2 and ft is equal to h2 right and if these are not null else it means that we are now adding other nodes in the linked list in the final linked list so accordingly we will write that code so this is basically the approach let's see the code once code is very simple we have this function merge to linked list it is it will be returning a, the head of the linked list so the return type is node star we have head 1 we have head 2 if you are not clear with uh, with what does this node star means i will highly recommend to watch the pointer uh, video i i'll share the link in the description so uh, we have taken two variables front, final head final tail initialized to null we will be traversing until any of one becomes uh, like any of these one becomes null right head one either head one becomes null or head two becomes null so if you see over here also what if we did the same thing now so if if these values are null means we are add we are we are getting our first node in the final linked list so if head one head two value is less head two will be the final head final tail and move head two to head two's next else it will be head one but if these values final head and final tail are not null means we are not add we are now adding the second third and so on link uh, nodes in the linked list so we will run this if head one value is less than head two we will in the final tail next we will add head one final tail will update we will be we were also updating the final head na final tail final tail was updating every time so final tail will be update update and we will move the head one to head one's next else we'll do same thing with head two so after this after this while loop once this while loop is done we discussed that now that uh, what happened uh, happened here was that h1 was not null h2 became null so we will come out of this while loop h2 becomes null so we will come out of this while loop but since h1 is not null right so we will check that if head1 is not null in the final says next just add head1 so we added this 12 after uh, at fi uh, final tails next right otherwise if head2 there might be a case if head 2 is not null then you can do the same thing and at the last you can return final head so this was the code and the approach it's very simple just dry run if you are unable to understand what we did uh, just dry run with an example you will understand it easily and if you like the video please please like it share with your friends subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next video bye